Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the SWE deck from Madison Presents and Illusionist.com. What is SWE? Uh, SWE is the monogram for S.W. Erdnays, who would be the author of The Expert at the Card Table. Now, if you don't know what The Expert at the Card Table is, good. <laughs> it's a magic book. Uh, actually, to be more accurate, it's actually a book about uh, sleight of hand, card cheating, uh, just any kind of playing card agility. Uh, Expert at the Card Table is still considered to be essential reading for any uh, card magician. Uh, the book, sometimes lovingly referred to uh, by card sharks as the Bible, sometimes it's just called Erdnays, but it's pretty much been in continual publication since 1902. Now, nobody knows who S.W. Erdnays is or was. Uh, it's one of the mysteries that uh, keeps perpetuating in the uh, magic community, and there's been several people that have been trying to determine who he was. I mean, if you look at uh, S.W. Erdnays and you look at it backwards, it actually spells E.S. Andrews, and that has led a lot of people to try to figure out, well, who this Andrews person might be. Uh, there's been some speculation that the author of the book is actually Milton Franklin Andrews. Uh, there's also uh, Wilbur Edgerton Sanders, who's also uh, a contender to, to uh, be the author. And so I think anybody who's had a history uh, with playing cards or playing card manipulation or card sharkery uh, has probably picked up uh, the expert at the card table at least once and thumbed through it. Uh, I know that even Steve Martin had said uh, that if he could have one book uh, on a deserted island, he would pick the expert at the card table just to keep his mind sharp. All right, so like I said, these cards were released by Madison Presents and Illusionist.com. Uh, the front of the tuck case and the colorings throughout are indicative of the original hardback green book. Uh, it just says SWE and Playing Cards 1902 across the front, and then you have an illustration from the inside of the book there. Uh, as with all other Madison uh, decks, the sides are very clean, very simple. You got the Madison logo there at the bottom. You have the Illusionist logo there uh, on the bottom there, and the back design of the tuck case is, of course, the back design of the cards, as well as uh, kind of a, a picture of what the book uh, looks like originally in its hardback form. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Now let's take a look at these cards. These cards were printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they are exactly what you would expect from a Q1 quality control. Uh, these are a thicker stock. Um, I would almost guess that they probably are uh, the casino grade stock or the B grade stock. Illusionist didn't really uh, give any clues to that, but it definitely feels like the thicker uh, grade stock. So I'm gonna guess that these are B stocks with air cushion finish and a modern cut. And if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. Like I said before, the back design of the cards is an homage to the book. Uh, it is, of course, a two-way back design, and you kind of have to do that. But uh, you have a little uh, medium-sized border there to kind of highlight or illustrate uh, the front of the expert at the card table book. And, and then you have the little symbols there of the acorns, which are kind of uh, seen throughout the book. With this deck, you're gonna get a couple of things, the first of which is you're gonna get a cut card. Uh, this is a casino cut card. You've seen some of these in uh, Madison's other uh, decks. And kind of what you do is you stick this on the bottom of the uh, deck like this so that when you're dealing and you're playing a card game, you if you flash, you're not gonna show uh, the bottom card. The cut card just says SWE at the top, has the uh, ad copy logos down there at the bottom, and then it's blank on the back side. Your Ace of Spades is a nice big fatty uh, ace that is probably indicative to a lot of the Madison Presents uh, decks of cards. Uh, you can see some words in there. That is uh, the actual text from the preface from the expert at the card table. It does at the bottom say SWE and the United States Playing Card Company there underneath the ace. You're also gonna get a double backer, which is always nice. And with this deck, you're gonna get two almost identical jokers. It is uh, a drawing uh, from the book. This is figure 25, and they're only minutely different. Uh, this one is the actual drawing from the book, and then this one is the drawing plus a card reveal. Your pips and indice cards are all completely standard and easily recognizable. Now, if you're already familiar with Madison Quartz, you already know that he likes to change up the faces and the SWE deck is no exception. You're gonna have brand new original faces on a lot of these court cards. And uh, you're also gonna see the green and the yellow uh, from the deck spread across the court cards uh, clothing. Uh, some of them are new faces, some of their old faces. You're gonna see Laura London again. Of course, you're gonna see uh, Daniel Madison, uh, Jeff Leonza even makes an appearance, Billy Kidd, and a couple of other brand new people that I'm sure uh, you will recognize. 
At the time of its release, uh, Madison Presents also did one other cool thing. Uh, they inserted kind of a Willy Wonka contest, uh, a golden ticket is inserted into one lucky expert at the card table SWE deck. And if you are the recipient of that gold ticket, you'll get 144 of these decks of cards from Illusionist. So the odds of winning that are one in a thousand, um, but it certainly makes for a really fun uh, contest and I'm sure it'll sell a lot of decks. All right, so that is it for the SWE deck. And as always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you wanna follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks, bye.